I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2018 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 9. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 9. Okay, this is question 9 and we need to use guess and check or known as trial and error to solve this question. Okay, let's read the question first. Mr. Tan packed 508 tarts into large and small boxes to sell. He filled each large box with 20 tarts and each small box with 12 tarts. All the boxes were full and there were no tart left over. What was the least number of boxes used by Mr. Tan? So here's the large box and here's the small box. Okay, now that we've read the question, let's highlight the key information. So Mr. Tan packed 508 tarts into large and small boxes. Okay, he filled each large box with 20 tarts and each small box with 12 tarts. Okay, so this is what they mean. So large box is 20 and small box is 12. Okay, so I'm just going to write that down there. And they're telling us that all the boxes were full and there was no tart left over. They're asking us the least number of boxes used by Mr. Tan. Okay, in order to find the least number of boxes, right, we need to have the most, is supposed to be the large boxes. Okay, so in the large boxes that is 20, right, so that this is greater than, so 20 is greater than 12, right? And 12 is lesser than 20. So this is why we should choose the most to be the large boxes, okay? So then only we can get the least number of boxes used. So first, I'm going to take 508 divided by 20 because each large box holds 20, 20 of the tarts. Next. So it will give us 25 or 8. So a remainder 8. I want this remainder to be a... A what? I need this remainder to be a what? Do you know the remainder? So basically, tw there's 25 boxes of 508 tarts, right? But then this remainder needs to be a, re a multiple of 12. So 25 is not going to work out. So first thing, I'm going to try the next smallest number after this, 24. So 24 is the number of large boxes times 20. It will give me 480. So I'm going to take 508 minus 480, which is 28. Okay, this remainder over here, 28, is not a multiple of 12. So basically, it is wrong. Okay, so when I divide by 12, it will give me 2 remainder 4. I need no remainder here, then only it will be correct. Okay, next I'm going to try the next smallest number, which is 23. So 23, the number of large boxes, times 20 is 460. After that, we should take 508 minus 460, which is 48. Okay, we know that 48 is a multiple of... 48 is a multiple of what? It's a multiple of 12, right? So basically, there is four small boxes. So this is correct already. See, we can't have two remainder four small boxes, right? So basically, the... There's a whole number here. There's four small boxes. And this over here is two whole boxes, right? And then this over here is like left out. But then they said there was no tart left over. So this is why this is wrong. Okay, so I hope you understand that. So four is the correct answer for this. So since 4 is correct, that means the number of large boxes, which is 23, is also correct. So in order to find the least number of boxes, we just take 23, the large boxes, plus 4, the small boxes. It will give us 27 as the answer for question 9. Okay, so I hope you understand my explanation for this question, question 9. And I hope you have learned something new from this question. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!